graph sketching. This comes up pretty much every interview. Graph sketching is a very important skill. So here are some tips for graph sketching in interviews. Find your intercepts. X is equal to zero, where, where does it cross on the y-axis? And Y is equal to zero, where does it cross on the x-axis? You can also find the stationary points by differentiating, or for certain functions, you can like complete the square, or just any other means. Differentiation is probably the easiest, in my opinion. You can then differentiate again, second derivative, to show it's concave or convex, and that can also help you find if it's a maximum or minimum, or if it's an inflection point. Try looking at the asymptotic behaviour. That's just fancy speak for what happens if x goes to infinity, or x goes to negative infinity. Does it diverge, so like does it go off to infinity or negative infinity, or does it actually tend to a value and stay there? So for example, x squared over x squared minus 1. As x goes to infinity, the minus 1 becomes kind of irrelevant, and this thing tends to 1 as x goes to infinity. Same with negative infinity because it's even, but we'll get to that later. Inequalities that bound the function. If you have a function multiplied by sine or cosine, we know that the absolute value of sine and cosine is bounded is less than 1, i.e. sine is always between negative 1 and positive 1. So therefore if you multiply a function by sine or cosine, that fu the function multiplied by sine will always be less than the original function and greater than negative that function meaning you can bound a function between two lines or two functions, whatever, and that's, that can help you with sketching. Any points that blow up, blow up means it just goes off to infinity. For example, things think 1 over x at x is equal to 0. As you tend to 0, the function blows up. That's bad. Uh, but like, make sure you know those, like where they are. Inverse functions, if you know a function, to sketch the inverse, just reflect it in the line y is equal to x. Be careful with domains and ranges. Think about transformations. If you know 1 over x, you can translate it left and right, up and down, you can stretch it. And you can also think of symmetries in the functions. If it's an odd function, the negative x version is just a negative, so it's like it has rotational symmetry. And if it's even, then the function on the left of the y-axis just looks like the function on the right of the y-axis just reflected. So pay attention to the behavior as x goes to negative x. Those are some of the tips I just thought of comment anymore and good luck with your interview.